Have you ever wondered what games you should keep or you should lose? Find out here at Purdue's. Here's Thurn and Taxes. All roads lead to Rome. You can see it's a pretty good box size box here. And you're going to get a rule sheet when you open it up. Now, the rules are going to be on double side of this. The font is a little small, but you see there's pictures and some examples that are included in here. You probably need three to five minutes to read through this, and you should be to go. There are two modulars, one the audience. Then you're going to have the offices of honor on the other side. So fairly easy to pick up and play. First thing you're going to notice about the box, it doesn't need to be the bit this size. So the board is really small. So maybe if you wanted to keep the board, this is the size you need. And all this stuff, I mean, it's just not that much that's in here. A lot of wasted space, maybe that was for uh, selling it purposes. Now you're gonna get a board here, which they decided to go with the same bland brown. Everything kind of runs together. You have the people here at the bottom. You're gonna get a bunch of chits with the different people the di uh, that you have powers for, etc. And everybody's gonna get these new ones, which will have different characters that you'll be utilizing for the road to Rome. You're also going to get some carriages that will move up and down this track. And these are pretty nice little wooden uh, pieces and nothing to write home about, but I think everything fits in uh, the theme of what they're trying to do for sure. So this is what's called the audience. And each of the carriages will have their color starting on their place. Now you're going to have the five different uh, colors up there and you're going to have each of these in this location. And you're going to take these and you're going to place these face down where nobody else can see and everybody will do this and you'll put them on these locations and you'll be choosing which ones you want to put where and they will correspond to these people down here. So when you play uh, on the main board, like the normal game, if you play a city card and don't put a place down on it, then you can move this down a location. If it gets to the end and it gets all the way to Rome, then you will take the orange ones and see who is here. If you have one that's not here, you will place it here and at the end of the game, you'll score that point. If someone else was to get one of these down here and it had their version of this, it would kick yours off and they will score. So being first doesn't really help you. You want to be the last one to get there. So that's kind of how that is going to work and that is a possibility. Now this is going to open up some options for you with the city card. You can move these carriages instead. You want the ones with you not to move too fast. Now you have to remember what's here because you can't look at it once again. And it's a little timing aspect here. It's a little wonky and a little weird that you don't want to be first. You think that you would want to be first? No, you want to be just on time. A little bizarre, adds a little bit of an element to the game. I don't know if it's a whole lot, but it is something. The second little aspect are going to be these tiles. Now what these are going to do, you're going to have one for each of the different powers that you have in the game. And you're going to have a number of these based on the number of players. Now, when you choose to take this power in the game, you're gonna take this tile now, and that's gonna be the aspect of it. When all of the tiles of a certain player is taken, then you will return them, and based on how many you get, you're gonna get an additional bonus. Sometimes you'll draw a card, get a VP, maybe you get to put a city out on the board. Uh, so that's a little bit of wrinkle. I don't know that you're choosing these based on, you know, I wanna get this power. It seemed more like a bonus that you got. Like, oh, I had all these, so I'm gonna get this extra thing. I suppose it sped things up just a tad, but I don't know how strategic it is. So what do we think about third and taxes? All roads lead to Rome. This is actually the second expansion and I would say by none order. This is something you're only going to want. If you're a really big fan of third and taxes and you really wanted to add something in or you like a little bit more randomness, a little bit more of the carriages, a little bit more of the decision tree. Maybe that would be appealing to you. Otherwise, this is the least respected. I can understand why, but it does add a little bit of wrinkle in. I'm probably more positive on it than some of the other reviews that have been released, but I don't think it's something you must track down. Instead, I think it's something that if you're a big fan and you want to shake things up, it does have two modules, which seems low. I mean, there's really not a lot of stuff in here. Usually when games are released now, you might get four or five modules. This one, you only get two. The little board is nice. I like moving up into Rome. That's kind of a tracker. And you have that little bluffing and deduction, who's where and what. Eh. It, 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 it comes off and feels more random than maybe that it is. So for us, this is probably one I would skip, but if you're a huge fan of the game, you can add this in and have some fun. Uh, that's how I feel about this one. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.